Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well, it's Chetan here from Design Pilot and I am back again today with another cool tutorial. It's been a long time since I released a esports related tutorial, so in this video we're going to be learning how to create a beautiful, awesome presentation for esports mascot logo specifically. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here I'm on Twitter and the inspiration for this came from Stylish Designs and he is a fantastic graphic designer. He does stream packs and logos, so if you guys are interested, definitely check him out. And the one that particularly stood out was this kind of a presentation with the beautiful nice lighting on top, with the nice spotlight, you know, with some shadows and, you know, looks really cool and professional. So I thought of recreating something like this. Of course, I asked his permission and uh, I'm giving him credits as promised. So. Let's jump into Photoshop and get this started. So I'm going to start off by creating a 1080p uh, document, which is 1080 by 1080, which is a resolution which would normally be used when uploading on Instagram. All right, so let's start off. So I'm going to go ahead and double click to make this layer editable. And I'm going to go ahead and double click again to create a color overlay. And I'm going to choose a color, which is 16262D. All right, it's a dark uh, gray color. We're gonna change the colors uh, by adding a filter later, so uh, we can do that. Actually, let's actually do that right now. Since the logo I'll be using is a red color logo, uh, I'm gonna go and just move the slider up to red. So uh, we have a red color logo. Click on OK, and then click on OK. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my logo. Actually, I'm gonna make it a yellow color logo. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and go to gradient overlay and set this to a nice uh, orange to yellow gradient. Um, probably maybe make this a little bit more yellowish. Okay, and I'm gonna set this to a radial gradient. Radial gradient. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, now I'm gonna set this to actually a purple color, not red, uh, to give it a nice contrast. So purple, that's uh, looking pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, then just make a copy by pressing Control J. We're gonna hide the one for now. And I'm gonna take the one at the bottom and I'm gonna pretty scale this up pretty big. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a layer mask, as you can see here. Now, what a layer mask does, it enables you to erase a, a certain part of the image without actually erasing it, enabling you to bring back the original image if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my foreground color to black. I'm gonna press B to get my brush tool, and I'm gonna set this to a soft brush, which means the hardness is set to zero, and I'm gonna shrink it down by pressing my left and right square bracket keys, all right? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and then just fade this away like so, uh, pretty much something like that. And I'm gonna set the opacity of this down to 10%, all right? So we can just faintly see what's happening. Let's actually do this again. I kind of want it to be, uh, Perfect, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just drag it like so. Okay, so. All right, let's actually set the opacity to 10 right now, and then we can go ahead and do it. Yeah, I think that looks uh, pretty good. I think I'm gonna do it from scratch to make it perfect. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, bring the logo to the center and, uh, you know, scale it uh, pretty big uh, from the center itself. So something like that. And uh, what we can do is uh, set the opacity of this to 10, press B, uh, to get the brush tool. Make sure you are on this thumbnail when using the brush and then just uh, we can get rid of the bottom part just like that. And also we can, if you want we can set the uh, blending mode of this to things like uh, luminosity. Uh, that's a different one. Let's actually rasterize this layer style making sure that this is set to normal and then right click and then choose rasterize layer style and set the opacity to 100 and then we can actually put the layer mask on the other one for now. Right click and then choose rasterize layer style and then we can bring back the one over here and then set the opacity to 10 and now let's play with a couple of blending modes set this to luminosity see what we get uh, that looks pretty good actually I think I'm gonna set this to 5 for now and uh, I think that's uh, pretty good so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a vignette so I'm gonna create a new layer uh, I'm gonna get myself the elliptical marquee tool and uh, let's just go ahead hold down shift and create a circle like so and I'm gonna fill this with black so you can use the, uh, the, uh, the shortcut option and delete, which is going to add in the foreground color. But before we do that, we want to go to uh, select and then choose inverse, which means it's going to select this outside part. And then I'll hit alt or option and hit delete. And that's going to give that for us. I'll press Control D to deselect, go to filter, 
blur and then choose a Gaussian blur. Now, the Gaussian blur is something that you can play around with. I'm going to set it to something like 70 and uh, probably even, let's say 150. That's pretty big. I'm going to click on OK. And then let's set the opacity of this to 10% or 20%. And I'm going to press E to get the eraser tool. Make sure that my soft brush is set. And I'm going to hold down Shift and then just get rid of the top part. Right? And we can even go ahead and scale this if we want slightly. Okay. And even increase the opacity of this to 35, depending on what you want and how you want it. It's looking pretty good at the moment. So let's call this a faded logo. This is going to be BG. This is going to be vignette. And uh, we're going to come to the logo at the moment uh, later. Uh, but now we're going to create a new layer. I'll press B to get the brush tool again. And this time, make sure the foreground color is set to white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make this pretty big and I'm going to come here just to the top and click a couple of times. So once. Okay. So we get this nice uh, highlight. We can make a copy by pressing control J, set the uh, blending mode of this to soft light, make a copy again uh, of this by pressing control J and we can call this, uh, set this to overlay, uh, something like that. And uh, we can go ahead and then, then merge all this by pressing control E or we can go and choose merge layers. And then we can go ahead and again set the opacity of this to overlay or soft light or whatever it is, or even even set it to normal. Uh, we could reduce the opacity of like to 50% or probably like 70%. Uh, it's completely up to, I'm gonna set it to a 55%. I think that's uh, something that I like. And of course, if you want, you can definitely go ahead and press uh, uh, the button to add in a layer mask. Press B to get the brush tool and we can kind of uh, fade off the corners. Uh, so the light is coming only from the top like so. Uh, you know, we could restrict the uh, amount of light that's being emitted. Uh, let's set this to 65 for now. Yeah, that's like pretty good. Awesome. So the next thing is let's go ahead and create a new layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press B to get my brush tool and make sure we have a soft brush with the uh, opacity set to, I mean, the color set to white and make sure it's pretty small actually. Uh, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click once in the center, which is going to create this nice, beautiful highlight. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, base light, whatever it is. And I'm going to press control T to transform it right click and then choose perspective. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shrink this in slightly like so and let's zoom out pretty much and I'm going to uh, click on this and hold down uh, alt and uh, scale this out like so pretty much uh, something like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the opacity of this to 60% and let's just uh, bring this down all right now let's uh, press uh, perspective again and see if we can get it to make it look much better. And I think this is looking pretty good. Looks pretty spotlighty. Uh, press Control T. We can click on perspective again. Uh, let's see if we can do it a bit more. All right. I think this is looking pretty good. Now for the shadow, it's going to be a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to create a, a layer and I'm going to call this a base shadow. All right, uh, press B, make sure your foreground color is set to black and then just click once. All right, now press Control T. This time we're not going to use perspective. We're just going to hold down Alt or Option on a keyboard and then just shrink this down like so and click on OK. OK, uh, we can press Control T, hold down Shift and Alt on your keyboard and we can shrink this down and we could place that right over there. Now let's try a couple of blending modes and see what looks uh, good, uh, whether anything kind of uh, matches the environment. All right, so soft light looks pretty good. I kind of like it. We can duplicate that to uh, add in a little bit more effect and probably reduce down the opacity of this to like 60%. And maybe we can increase this a teeny tiny bit. And we can obviously center this to make sure that everything is in the center. And now what we do is I'm going to bring in the actual logo. So uh, where was the logo? There is our logo. Let's just go ahead and use a different logo. Now this was a logo that I had made for a client. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control T and I'm going to shrink this down. All right. That is uh, looking pretty damn good. And I'm going to make sure that the top light, I'm going to call this uh, top light is on top of everything. So I'm just going to move this over to the top. So the highlight uh, falls on the logo as well. And of course, let's go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to go to the color overlay and set this to a, uh, let's go for a red color. Yeah, I think the red color looks pretty, pretty dope. And I'm going to duplicate the top light by pressing uh, 
going to edit and then choosing duplicate or pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard if that works for you. And even the video, maybe we could raise that to 60%. And of course, uh, we need uh, the uh, Imperfect Gaming logo to be at the back. So Ctrl J to duplicate it, or you could just duplicate the layer. And you can bring this at the bottom, uh, place it over here, press Ctrl T, and let's just uh, scale this up pretty big. Okay, uh, let's just drag on this mask and we can delete this. Uh, this was set to luminosity and set to 5 red, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Set the blending mode of this to luminosity and the blending mode to 5. The Sorry, the opacity to 5 and uh, it looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and on top of the layer, let's go ahead and create another uh, layer like so. I'm going to press uh, B in my cube to get the brush tool and this time let's change it to a red color brush. Uh, but let's make it to a, you know, like a, like a red color brush with this color and I'm going to shrink it down pretty much. And I'm going to tap here on the corners just once and twice. And I'm going to go and set the blending mode of this to linear dodge add and uh, reduce down the fill of this, uh, the opacity of this to, let's say like 10%. Uh, it, it's a pretty subtle effect. Uh, but uh, you know it kind of uh, makes it look pretty good. We could add one at uh, the center as well Yeah, that look pretty good and finally another thing we can do is we can add in a new layer on top of the Imperfect gaming logo layer. Let's go ahead and create a circle like so uh, Something like that and uh, make sure to fill this with white So hold on alt and delete on your keyboard to fill this with white press ctrl D to deselect Right click and then choose create clipping mask, which is going to create a clipping mask like this Let's set the opacity of this to like 5%. So you can probably see the uh, the highlight, uh, the reflection, I would say, actually, and set it to 10%. Uh, that, this completely depends on how you want it. So let's say to set to 5. You could even set the blending mode of this to something like screen. And it will look pretty different. So that's completely up to you. And finally, we can go ahead and then just group all these layers by selecting everything and press Ctrl G. We can name this logo. And now it's time for some color correction. Oh, one more thing I forgot is uh, we can go and create a new layer on top of everything and we can just uh, fill this with any color that we want, doesn't matter right now. And we can go to stroke, uh, set the stroke size to 2 or 3 depending on the size of your composition. Set the color of this to white, click on OK, click on OK. Uh, we also have to set the fill to 0, so we have only the stroke and then we can double click. Uh, let's actually, not double click, let's right click and then choose rasterize layer style. And then set the blending mode of this to overlay. And uh, as you can see, we get this nice, thin, beautiful border. Uh, that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, and then uh, we can go ahead and do some color correction now. So the first one is we're going to add in a color lookup. All right. And we're going to go and choose the film stock one preset. And we could set the opacity of that to something like 30%. We don't want it to be too dramatic. All right. You can see uh, the difference. Looks Pretty, pretty, pretty dope. We're gonna add another color lookup. Uh, color lookup, color lookup. And this time we could set this to something like uh, crisp warm. Okay. Or if you set it to crisp winter, it's gonna give you this bluish shade, but let's go with crisp warm. And set this opacity to 20% again. And let's make another one color lookup. And this time we could set this the opacity of this to 30% and set this to three strip. Look, or two strip. I mean, it almost gives you the same effect, but uh, doesn't matter. All right, all right. Now, now these bottoms are pretty dark. So what I could do is I could go ahead and select uh, the uh, vignette, reduce that down to say something like forty percent, depending on what you want. And uh, there we go. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed it. If you have any questions or requests, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, take care and bye-bye.